Oh, I play the Razorfoot Griffin, because why not? I'm attacking for 10. I have to destroy this 4 6. So I just gained seven more life till I go to 48. And I win. Yay! All right, so one more quick edit. Yay! I got to two and one. Got there! I didn't lose the story mode. Oh, and I got some coins! Ooh, that's enough for... Oh, I got more coins. 40 more coins. So that's enough for a booster pack. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to open a booster pack. Yeah! Open a booster of Battle for Zendikar. Buy one. Confirm. All right, so this is going to be it. I'll open this booster pack. Because it's 6.30 on the East Coast, 5.30 here. I've got to figure out something for dinner. I don't know what. All right, so. Well, that's sad. All right, Courier Griffin, Touch of the Void, some good removal there. That one's a two in red. Touch of the Void deals three. It's a Devoid card. Touch of the Void deals three damage to target creature or player. If a creature dealt damage this way, I would die this turn. Exile it instead. Nice. Booster Pod. Loyal Spout is super good. Put target creature on top of its owner's library for one, a white, and a blue. Or... Awaken four for four white and blue. If you cast a spell for four white and blue, also put four plus one plus one counters on the target land you control, and it becomes a zero zero elemental creature with haste. It's still a land. That's super good. Rot Shambler is pretty good. Drowner of Hope is my rare. It's five and a blue. Devoid, when Drowner of Hope enters the battlefield, put two. 1-1 one, one color, so Eldrazi Scion and creature tokens into the battlefield. They have Sacrifice this creature, add one colorless to your mana pool. Sacrifice an Eldrazi Scion, and you can tap a target creature. Oh yeah, and it's a 5-5. Five, 5-5 five. Five, five for 6 seems really, really good. So that's good. Alright, so I'll go my card collection. Let's see... See what else I open here. Oh, that's right. I open a bunch of stuff. All right. Uh, filter. Mm, let's look at these new card ones. Don't want to get new cards. Fifty-three of the Zendikar. Show the old ones. Let's look at everything. Show owned. Is filter. Here's in the car. So, maybe I build an ally deck here. What have I got in allies? Three and four there, that's seven. Um, no blue allies. Black, got a few. One there, one there. Uh, Okay, this card is not that... Oh, no, this is the really good one. So, this is the dragon. Um, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, it deals one damage to target creature or player. That's relevant. But, if it's a mountain, it deals two damage. For playing a land, it deals damage. I like this card. Especially if you get those cards like Natural Connection, where you can play uh, 
you know, draw, play extra lands a turn and stuff like that. This is super good. So, me likey this card. I wish I had more than one in my pool here. Uh, Reds, Allies, Castle Guide, Fire Mantle Mage, Andu Champion, although he's not as relevant. Got four Andu Champions. Uh, Snappy Narland's good. Oh, Orin Reef Hydra is so good. This is the one, this is like the Halkite. Um, it's got the Landfall. It comes in as a 5-5 five, five for 6. Good. Trample. Good. Landfall. Whenever land enters the battlefield under control, put a plus one plus one counter on it. If it's a forest, you put two. Value. Three snapping harlots. That's kind of cool. Void attendance, okay. Royal spout's good. Titan's Presence can be good, but I don't have the cards for it just yet. Doo, 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 doo. God, I got a hundred in the store still? Damn. I get that many. Alright, well. My quest slots are empty. It looks as though... 170,000. We're going to get that Spoils of Victory. Um, let's look at the achievements while we're here. Completed Gideon. Some of these are kind of crazy. Ten booster packs, got a Mythic Rare, opened. Won a duel with a custom deck. Single duel, you had your flying creatures deal 15 damage and was dealt no damage yourself. Billstone. Dealt 10 damage to an opponent in a single duel using creatures he or she owns. Add two lands into the battlefield in a single turn. Let's see. Search your library for an enchantment. Yeah, I did that. What ones I have of it? Win 100 solo battles. Okay. Win 500 solo battles. So that's ridiculous. Win 10 versus battles. 100, 500, hit rank 5 in versus battles, hit rank 10 in versus battles, 15, 30, 40, collect all 5 Origins Planeswalker cards, collect all the Mythic Rare cards in Mathic Magic Duels Origins, complete 100 daily quests, 500 daily quests, have Gideon Battleforge deal 12 damage in a single duel. Oof, that's rough. Cast two instant sorceries from your graveyard in a single duel. Oh, wow. Turn three creatures from graveyards to the battlefield in a single end step. What? These are ridiculous. All right, that's not. Control four creatures of form. That's pretty easy to do. When a duel of five or fewer cards in your library. Yeah, yeah. Sacrifice a creature owned by an opponent. Oh, I want to build that deck. Um, there's a, in Origins, there was a black red deck that did that. Cast a creature spell with converted co mana cost 7 or greater by your fourth turn. Ooh, the ramp there. 10 damage or more to your opponent with renowned creatures in a single turn. Control 6 elves. Control 20 elves. Jesus Christ. How do you get some of these? 5 artifacts. Catch four auras to the same creature. I almost did that. All right. Well, there's a lot of quests. There's a lot of uh, stuff to do still. Uh oh. Well, let me let me go. One more battle. I'm a glutton for punishment. Let's do versus. Um, with a matched opponent. I think I'm gonna play white black. All right. So we'll do that. Searching for other players. All right, so waiting for other players to join the match. I am probably out of my league with this one. Well, that looks like Garrick. If I had to take a guess, that's Garrick. All right. 
in theory, the matchmaking on this should be that I'm that I match with someone at the same level. No, I'm not. What the holy hell? Um, one, two. I'll keep this. It's not good. All right. So, all right. Then I'm done. So I'm playing black. He doesn't do it. All right, well. Let's see here. This is my first foray into verses like this. I played a friend once. Oh, nothing. You're off your lands, huh? All right, so continue. I'm just going to swing away. Confirm. And I'll play Corpse Hauler on. Four point swing. All right. There we go. Comes untapped. All right. Well, you're not, you're off your, definitely off his land. Um, on the meanwhile, I am not. All right. So I think. Well, yeah, let's put it. I think I do that. And a whole divine favor. I don't know if it gets revealed. Oh, yeah, it does. All right. Attack with all. It's going to be a six point swing here. So he goes to 14. Next turn, if I get a land, I can do Divine Favor on the Corpse. Okay, so he's got, he's finally got his mana. He's got three. Okay, hold on, what the hell was that? Zero, two... When Geek enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic land card or a gate card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Okay. So that doesn't seem that good. He's playing three color? Well, that seems bad. Um, what's that do? Okay. Um. Hmm. I could just play corpse holder. Next turn, if you play something big, I just kill it with flush bag. So he got his red out. He's got something to play with it. So let's see what he does here. Oh, yeah, no, that just dies. 4-4? Four, four. Yeah, that just dies. All right, so we'll zoom out of that. 